hey y'all, guess I've now become your resident head honcho when it comes to spilling the tea on all things modern Barbie. It seems like you've really enjoyed my video on the new wave of Barbie fashionistas. So today we're going to be taking a look at a new wave of Barbie extra minis, as well as even smaller Barbie extra mini minis that deliver the same type of fashion doll, but this time they're more or less bite-sized. So let's take a look at the promotional pictures of each doll and see what they have to offer. So let's start off with the three new regular Barbie Extra Minis. The most striking thing about her is her two-tone hair where she has a mid part with one half of her hair being red and the other half being black. Now this promo image looks pretty weird. It looks like she has absolutely no neck. She wears this cute little pleather jacket with a couple of silver dots on each side. She has the silver belt and a fiery motif with another silver stud bracelet. And she comes with a pink bag that looks like it has the image of a monster truck printed on it. She even wears a pair of miniature black fishnet tights and some black combat boots. She's very edgy and I do quite like her. So she's definitely one to look out for, though zooming in on her face paint, it seems like she has major pixelation going on though not quite as bad as the one that we're going to be taking a look at next. And that's this little diva here, who comes with a very cute light pink fur jacket. She has a pair of white western boots, a two-piece skirt on top with a bit of a light blue acid wash print on it. She comes with a very odd looking milk carton bag with a cow printed on the front. She has what looks like saran hair with a mid part and two buns as well as some pink streaks in it. Now her face up is the one where I'm like, okay, what's going on here? You can see it in her eyes that they weren't even able to hide the pixelation on the promotional image. Now with the Barbie extras, the ones that I have, I did not come across one that had this heavy of a pixelation going on. Now the accessories that she has are the usual accessories that we've seen time and time again, so there's no real reason to be going on about them. So let's take a look at the next extra mini doll. Now this diva here is part of a big play set with a wardrobe, different fashion pieces, different shoes, big mirror with a stand built on it, and even a little photo booth that is shaped like a classic Barbie box. The doll comes with this checkered hot pink two-piece, or is it like one-piece dress? I'm not sure because the chunky gold belt in the front kind of hides where it could be the seam. She has a pair of black boots and she also wears this coral pink furry jacket. The other two fashion pieces that she comes with is this tie-dye lavender denim shirt and a top or more or less a dress with extra and hearts printed on it. She also has these cute pink boots with black lacing in the front and a pair of purple shoes and the shoe mold that we've seen a couple of times on the extra minis. All in all, I'm not that big of a fan of play sets because I do not have the space, but it looks like it's a very cute thing to buy for your children. I kind of feel like that they are trying to market Bobby extra minis towards the audience that they were trying to market fashion Polly Pockets from the early 2000s to. So that's the direction they seem to be heading with the Bobby extra minis. And that's why they seem to now have shrunken them down even more into mini minis. So let's take a look at those. So the first mini mini is also part of a playset. She comes with this very cute purple camper that has a couple of accessories that you can use on the doll, like purses, a brush, sunglasses. She even has this cute chair that is very much giving me Y2K vibes. Now the doll has purple hair, she has a tan complexion and she wears this one piece dungaree dress with all the details that seem to be printed on it. So there's no real lacing or real stitching going on. And she wears a pair of white boots. Now what you can see here with the mini minis is that they do not have proper articulation. It's just the basic five points of articulation. And I'm curious to know what size they are. We do not have a comparison between the mini minis and the minis as well as the regular size Barbie dolls yet. So that's something to look out for. Now the camper has tons of stuff that you can do with it. Here's a closer look at the dress where you can see that all the details is printed on. But it seems to have two slits at each side. The doll itself is cute. The camper with all the stuff that you can do with seems to be very cute as well. You can see that it's shaped like a record player which seems to be kind of like a stage. 
So yeah, is this Mater's answer to the Rainbow Vision truck? Hmm? Could be. You can put stuff in the trunk. So exciting. But there's not much left to say. Aside from the fact that we have here new artwork for the Barbie Extra Minis. Because so far we did not have any kind of illustration for the Extra Mini Dots. But now we are getting some. And the illustration that they use for these dolls is kind of unhinged. But I'm kind of living for it as well. You can also see the illustration for the extra mini doll here. They all have this smirk and this facial expression which is kind of very sneering. Now let's move on to the next extra mini mini. She has a very cute face up. Kind of like her mid part flip hair. It's very that girl. She has a dress with one long sleeve and a strap with a couple of thunder strikes and gold printed on it. She wears a pair of sneaker flats and comes with a pink purse. Now the extra mini minis even come with a stand, but it looks like that the clasp is not a separate piece like it is with the extra mini stands, but it's actually molded onto the stand. You can see her artwork here and again. I don't know what's going on with the artwork or whoever did it. And it doesn't really fit the vibe of the extra mini minis. I feel like the artwork is kind of giving me 90s Nickelodeon vibes. So the next mini mini is probably supposed to be the Barbie. She comes with a plastic beret that is kind of looking like an organ. It looks like a liver to me. She wears a cute letterman jacket and underneath it she wears a dress which seems to be made of this shiny papery material, which is very classic Barbie. She also has those white boots that the mini with the playset truck has, and she comes with a very cute gummy bear purse. Now with the mini minis, the face up does not seem to be suffering from pixelation. Maybe it's the smaller form factor that prevents it. So far, the face up looks very good, which you can especially see on the next one. Now this mini mini is kind of giving me Kira vibes. She has a face up that is very much looking like the classic Kira face. She has a cute plastic beanie with peace written in front of it in white. And she has a bum bag in lime green with a couple of silver stars painted on it. So I have no idea what Mattel is playing at giving these mini minis plastic accessories with additional paint on it. She wears this alien dress which harkens back to the new Barbie Extra 19 with her alien theme and a pair of cute translucent glittery pink boots. She also seems to have long saran hair with a couple of lavender streaks in the front. So of all of the minis, she's by far my favorite. And the face paint is immaculate. It almost looks like it's hand painted. Maybe they used the prototype for the promotional images. Then we have this diva here. She has this gold winged eyeshadow and liner which kind of reminds me of the Barbie Extra number one doll. So you could say that she might be related to her. She wears this roughly red dress with the lips printed on it. And she wears a pair of white sneakers and she has long red hair up in a high ponytail. It looks like it's the same hair that the Barbie Extra with the furry leopard print blue tracksuit has. Now the images on Amazon even show the cotton that these dolls would come in. And you can take a sneak peek at the artwork here. What I like about them is the fact that they seem to have blister packaging where there's very little plastic and it's mostly cardboard in the back, which is definitely an upgrade from the packaging they use on all of the other extra dolls as well as the extra minis. And the final two extra mini minis seem to share a color scheme. It's very cotton candy, very much pink and teal and very pastel. Now this one seems to be the mini mini with the most elaborate outfit because she has three different separate pieces. She has a rainbow top, pink skirt, as well as this teal mesh jacket. She comes with a pair of roller skate shoes and a blue bag. She's very cute. I quite like this doll as well. And the last one is very much giving me Candylicious with a two-tone hair, one half in this mint green and the other half in this cotton candy pink. She wears a cute polka dot dress with ruffles on top as well as on the bottom part of the dress. She has this bonbon shaped translucent purse. She wears super super adorable very cute gummy bear translucent earrings. One pink, one blue and her shoe is also one pink and one blue. Very cute, very candy themed, very adorable. 
So we've taken a look at three new dots and the new wave of Barbie Extra Minis, as well as the introduction of the Barbie Extra Mini Minis. Let me know in the comments down below which one of the dolls is your favorite. Also let me know what you think of the Barbie Extra Mini franchise in general. Do you hate him? Do you love him? If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and I might see you in my next one. Bye for now.